Wait a second, where the hell are my legs? Also, what's happened to my fire and ice dual blades? These actually, I'm not gonna complain, these actually look freaking awesome. The Gajalaka dual blades? Hell yeah! But I also don't have any legs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nightmare Mod DLC. This is a whole new event created by 6M6D6, and today we're taking on a Pestilence Kieran. Also looks like there's an Acid Odo Gar on here, so I hope you guys all enjoy this. We're going to be checking this specific quest out today, and then showing all the new armor. Also armor with new skills, too. Now it looks like 6M6D6 went the extra mile with this event. Actually created whole new icons for his magnificent monster creations. This event is pretty freaking phenomenal. So major shout out to him. Definitely make sure to check out his YouTube channel. It'll be in the description below as well as in the pinned comment. Oh, there's Pestilence Kieran up here. So we got a whole new icon for this and I anticipate this being a, literally an absolute nightmare. This is the most difficult quest in this mod pack, I think. So I figured I would show this off first. There are quite a few other quests, a slew of brand new monsters in here. We got a really powerful Bloodbath Diablos. We've got all sorts of amazing things to check out in this mod pack. I hope you guys all enjoy it. I'm super excited. Oh, there it is. I just want to see... Jump, you fool! Oh, my Lanta. This thing is beautiful and probably extremely deadly. Let's shoot it in the face. Oh, it just had it just did a Valhazak roar. Do not tell me this freaking horse has Valhazak skills. Oh, what the? It's got a flute. No. Oh, and it actually. Oh, my God. A fluvium and lightning. This is a this is what? What is this? <laughs> what is it doing? Oh my god, this is terrifying. So this doesn't have lightning skills. Oh my god. It's just got like a Kirin or a, a freaking Valhazak inside of it. What the hell? Oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> I was not prepared for this at all. I don't even have null berries. This is literally my worst nightmare. What... What is it? What is that attack? It's like, is it a... I kind of want to get hit by it just to see what it does. Oh, God. Just do it. Do it. Take me. Oh, my God. So this is really, really... <laughs> I'm just glad it doesn't do lightning skills anymore. So I want to get hit by whatever that probe is. Come at me, bro. You know you want to. Fine, I'll just keep shooting you then. Whatever. I'll get hit by it eventually, I'm sure. So it's definitely got, like, a Valhazak inside of it. This is weird. I'm, I'm glad that it's not just some mutant lightning, hi like, hybrid. It seems to have maybe be, like, a dead Kirin that's been fused with a Valhazak. It's, it's so cool. So there's lots of other really exciting things in this mod, but I really did want to check this out first. Now, not only does he, has he created all these new monsters, we've also got actually, like, legitimately changed armor skills and stuff like that, like this Gajalaka helm. The skills on it aren't actually changed, but we got some other ones that are. So brand new, like, gamma armor sets and stuff. He's really gone the extra mile with it. Unfortunately, this... I'm not really having any issues with this yet. Oh, there we go. I would have liked to maybe see it have kept one of the lightning skills. Although I like what he's doing, he's clearly getting a lot better at being able to fuse different abilities into monsters, which is really exciting. Uh, especially, he's clearly getting to the point to where he's mastered transferring the new skills over, because they all work. But, um... Now we just gotta find a good balance. Now this Tepper Kira does seem to hit a little bit softer than usual, and that seems to be the case with the... Uh, the, the quest editor currently and uh, I've done a lot of working with the quest editor It's actually what I use for my verse battles So if you guys don't know I've got a new series on the channel where we have monsters battle each other to the death and um, A lot of people that are making quests with that quest editor don't realize that you have to adjust the stats properly for the attack Or else you're gonna make something with a lot of HP But it is hits like a you know, like a paper bag or something like that. So 
some issues. I am curious if we get anything special for this, but there are some other things that I want to show off in this mod as well today, and I'll be showing off some of the other fights. I'm really excited to see a more powerful Bloodbath Diablos. We might check that out in this episode. Oh, God! The effluvium is pretty terrifying. I would have liked to see it do... Have the... No, that would have been just a real nightmare. Having the effluvium effect and then still casting lightning everywhere. You could counteract that by running... Oh, what the hell was that? Interesting. So instead of lightning, it does basically all of his attacks in effluvium. Interesting. Oh, God, he got me. I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm curious if he's got like... Uh, he, so he doesn't maintain his ground lightning attack. I feel like maybe that would have been a good one to keep. Along with the effluvium and everything. But anyways, let's see if we can actually kill us. See if we get any special rewards at the end. I've got to say, after having fought it for a little while up here and kind of changed to something else, I would have loved to, to have seen this thing... Maintain at least one or two lightning attacks. Maybe the, the little lightning bolts that don't do a lot of damage when he runs would have been nice. And the ground, the big ground ones would have been nice too. Because they're both really dodgeable and would mix well. Especially with the atmosphere uh, that you get with the effluvium, I think. It would have been really awesome to see. Uh, but otherwise, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Now, I do feel like this has a ton of HP, but doesn't hit as hard as it used to. Um, so I would have liked to maybe see not quite just an HP sponge, but a little less HP and a little bit more deadly. Obviously, the ticking effluvium damage adds its own difficulty to the fight, and it can do pretty good damage with some of these effluvium things. We're trying to get hit by a little of it. But all in all, really enjoying the concept and I cannot wait to see what other crazy things this crazy man has in store. Man or woman? I don't know. I shouldn't assume these things. Maybe he's a Kirin. It's a Kirin. I don't even know. I don't know why I'm fighting this thing with dual blades either. I should be fighting it with, like, stun... Or not stun, uh, sleep dual blades. But regardless, absolutely loving this mod so far. We have to actually show Astera because there's all new, like, banners and stuff in Astera for the Nightmare mod. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try and get this thing killed and then check out some of the other stuff. Got it down. Actually, maybe the HP isn't too bad. But um, all in all, I would have definitely liked to see it hit physically a little bit harder. Um, because tied with the effluvium and the physical damage would make it a really different Kirin fight and make it a lot more fun, I think. Because with, with the effluvium damage is one thing, we can easily counter that. But having it hit physically stronger would be really, really cool. So just the tips there. I don't know. Otherwise, absolutely love the fight. So we got Pestilence Kieran to hide. So yeah, the HP really wasn't that bad. It took me 15 minutes with me actually messing around with it. Oh, so what do we get here? We got Pestilence Kieran hide. We also have a ticket. Oh, I didn't even read what it was. So that was a damage dealer card, a blueprint for a revolutionary greatsword that lost in the nightmare from 6M66. So let's go ahead and actually turn in and see what we can get with this ticket. If he actually added a weapon that requires crafting this ticket, I want to be so happy. I have a feeling it might be the, the Wyvern Ignition Greatsword. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I, want, I just realized he's got this awesome hat on. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. So let's go ahead and see uh, if, if I'm right about this Greatsword. If I am, I might be able... It is the rocket-powered greatsword. So, damage dealer card to be able to craft that. Uh, looks like it's pretty much exactly the same. I don't like that it's being added to the game early. It makes me a little nervous for the mod. Um, because that's it hasn't actually been released officially by Capcom yet. Uh, I don't like having that stuff in the game. Um, so, I have to say, I'd like to not see this kind of stuff in the future. Uh, just because you never know how Capcom's gonna be about it. Uh, but regardless, awesome fight. Now, some of the other changes that we've got. Looks like the Dragon King eye patch has been transitioned to the Gajalaka Mask Gamma. And then we've got Poison, Sleep, and Paralysis Resistance Level 3 with two Level 2 Decoration slots on it. So that's pretty interesting. Although we lost the Dragon King eye patch. <laughs> so that's a little bit of an issue. 
What I would like to see, possibly, is if you can edit the stats, use a lower level equipment that doesn't get used, and adjust that rather than like something like the Dragon King eye patch. Now we've also got the Arch Demon Nerga Gante Beta Male and Alpha, obviously, which look pretty freaking cool. Now this is really cool. I'm not sure how he's managed to do this, but props to him. This is the Death Stench equipment set. And he's managed to make our body invisible with it. That is so freaking cool. Absolutely love this. It looks amazing. I don't think we have any other uh, specific stats on it. No, but it just looks really, really cool. Now this looks really cool. We've got the Dream Catcher mask. You need three nightmare tickets for this. Uh, Shamos hide. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> I just, I love the way it looks. Oh man, I wish we could get it like layered armor. That thing looks awesome. So we got speed eating and effluvia resistance with a level two and a level one decoration slot. I love that he's figured out how to edit some of these um, pieces of equipment. What would be really cool is to make, somehow make basically equipment for the new monsters that he's gotten and turn it into gamma armor, like use low rank armor or like some of the like leather armor or something like that and transition that into new equipment for some of these monsters that he's created. It would be awesome. As far as Astera goes, we've got all of these cool new little banners for the Nightmare, the pure <laughs> evil. Is that what that is up there? Nightmare event. Very cool. Absolutely. He just puts so much work into this. We've got... <laughs> the commander, what's happened? Oh no, so we've got all new like NPCs roaming around and stuff like this. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this guy's got the, the hat on. I wonder what other weird stuff we got hidden around here. Now it does look like we've got NPCs just kind of like with these hats on, which is pretty cool. There's another mod, Wiggler Paradise or something like that, that puts Wiggler Helms on everybody, which is phenomenal. But I love the work that this guy does. Definitely check out his YouTube. He always releases previews of things that he's creating. So definitely go and support up there if you so desire. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will be covering more of this mod and some of the other events that I didn't get to do last time. Uh, we've got the handler looking all spiffy. She's got something on her face. What? Wait, what? Wait, what's on her face? Please tell me there's a dick drawn on her face. That would be priceless. Oh, hey. Hey, partner. Oh, God. Wait, is that... Wait, what is, what's on the other side? I can't see. I thought it was a penis. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I like that he actually drew on the face. That's, that's pretty fun. It's like face paint. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.